April 14, Palm Sunday of the Passion of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. They divided his garments by casting lots. The people stood by and watched. The rulers, meanwhile, sneered at him and said, He saved others. Let him save himself if he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, If you are king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him, there was an inscription that read, This is the king of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God, for you are subject to the same condemnation? And indeed we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we received corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you. Today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord A time of renewal, Palm Sunday. We start the Holy Week celebrations with palms in our hands, welcoming Jesus in His triumphal entry to Jerusalem. Today is also Passion Sunday. We recall how Jesus suffered for us. To be more blessed, let us be more reflective. Our mood must jibe with the spirit of this week. Let us use our imagination. We set the proper conditions in our environment. In our own personal way, we can make ourselves present in those important events that we call now the Paschal Mystery. We can relieve the events described in the Gospels. Let us not miss attending the liturgical celebrations for the Easter Tree Doom. Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Vigil and Sunday. Let us keep our minds and hearts focused on them. Other popular and traditional activities are also helpful. Recollections, Penitential Services, Pabasa, Visita Iglesia, Stations of the Cross, Processions, and Encuentro or Salubong. Holy Week is a time of renewal. We should facilitate our own renewal and revitalize our spirit. Let us go to confession, to cleanse our sins and receive God's mercy and forgiveness. At home, we can show greater love and concern to our loved ones, especially the elderly and the sick. We can schedule times for common prayer. Kids and teenagers can be more respectful to their brothers, sisters, and parents. Jesus already suffered for all. We need not inflict sufferings on others.